Hey everyone, it is Rob here and it's December 28th in the afternoon as I'm recording this with just a couple updates on the Fagro des Vert earthquakes and potential re-eruption that has been going on. Now what we're looking at here, first of all, is a trip that I took way back when the eruption was kind of first, well, it had been starting. So I think this was about April that I went back, uh, one of the many, many times that I went while it was erupting. You can see the walk up to it. But today I want to talk about what's been going on in the news and some of the information that's coming out of uh, the meteorological office and what they're saying on what we should and shouldn't be doing at this point. Flat out, to start things off, you should not, it is advised, strongly advised at that, you should not go to the eruption site currently while these earthquakes are ongoing. Now if we take a quick pause here and we take a look at some of the earthquake activity, that's been going on over the last 48 hours, we can see here just on this bottom graph alone that there is considerably fewer earthquakes since, uh, you know, a couple days ago or in the past little while. Now, this is the exact same thing that occurred before the eruption started uh, earlier this year. If we take a look at the table here, we can see that 646 in the Reykjanes Peninsula over the last 48 hours. and there were only a couple, about a dozen, that were over a magnitude of three. And you can see the location of those. A lot of them are in Krusevik, as you can see, and very few. I mean, there was one uh, today, but didn't feel it here in the city. So what they're saying on the meteorological office, uh, they did have a meeting yesterday, the Scientific Council and Civil Protection. They had a teleconference yesterday due to all the earthquakes and land changes at Pagrosvet. And since this swarm began uh, on December 21st, more than 18,000 earthquakes have been detected. That's what they're saying. Uh, and many of which have been actually greater than 4.0. Um, over the last 24 hours and over the last 48 hours, as you saw, there's been quite uh, a drop in the number of earthquakes. But Keep in mind that this is something that we've seen before and a lot of the scientific measurements in recent days are saying that it's very similar to those seen in the days before the eruption that started back in the earlier in the year on March 19th. And so it's very important that we show a lot of caution in the vicinity of these eruption sites and the protection agencies here are going to be sending out SMS or text messages to people who enter a defined area warning them of this. And so it's recommended that people don't walk to the eruption site at all at Gelingadala while this earthquake swarm is going on. And in addition to that, of course, there is the increased risk of rock falls in the area. And so people are advised just to stay away completely from there. Now, since midnight last night, there's only been about 600 earthquakes that have been detected in the area. And again, much fewer. So we are going to see what's going on. The big news is, of course, that we are going down in terms of the number of earthquakes. There is, of course, if you go into the Icelandic Meteorological Office, there are a couple of alerts going on. Of course, there's the earthquakes, and then all of a sudden, now they are very concerned about the tumbling rocks in steep terrain, and we saw some videos of that before. So just uh, something to keep in mind as we are progressing through and uh, again, if we take a look at some of the footage that I did took before, we can see here the accumulation of that lava uh, that's going in. This is early on, so if we know, or if you've seen videos before of this area, you know that it's quite a bit larger than this. But uh, interesting to see where things can go. I would like to know, you know, put in the comments if you think that it's going to erupt before New Year's, after New Year's, you know, not erupt at all. It's interesting to see what everyone's thinking. I do think that we are going to see an eruption. Everything's kind of pointing that way. But of course, I've been wrong on a lot of things before, like Grimsvat. And so we will we will see how things go and how things progress. But all signs right now point to yes. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the update. If you did, you know, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will update you as soon as something new comes up. Thanks.